I am taking off the auto lock. <laughs> Are you from Connecticut? Um, I'm does, actually... Because everybody's got the wrong name, and I didn't know if it, people, you know, if you're really not from Connecticut. I, I live in Connecticut right now, okay. um, but I'm from the West, Utah, I grew up okay. in, so... Really? Which part yep. of Connecticut? Uh, New Canaan. It's like Southern Fairfield County. Okay, um, cool. So... Oh, you erased your... Oh, you wrote over it, I, I said. I was from Boston. I didn't want to be from Boston anymore. <laughs> Florida man. It's a Florida man. Oh, you're Chicago, right? Yeah. In Chicago? Yeah. He and I both. Test, test, test. I'm just making sure it's showing up there. Is it? Yep. All right. Um. Dude. Hi. Hello. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to do this cheesy okay. intro to the camera. Go and then... <laughs> I think you need to be over here. You need to... Okay. Right over here. Am I am I kind of out? Yeah. Okay. You weren't quite in the picture. Oh, <laughs> oh we can the camera. All right. That's true. Oh, no, no, no. I can just sit like this, and then it looks like you're really. Good. You put that right in. <laughs> right in your face. Where? Maybe, maybe. It's fine. All right, all right. <laughs> you're there, okay. Cool. Keith um, is really hiding me now. That's good. Yeah. I don't know if I feel good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, which is my best side? <laughs> the front, <laughs> the back. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, I'll, I'll, st I'll do the cheesy intro now. Cool. All right, hi everybody. I'm here with uh, Keith Bloom from Eagle Games, and also with uh, designer Richard Borg, and we're going to uh, talk a little bit about their upcoming projects. Uh, so uh, first off, um, I've heard a little bit about. Cowtown, and it seems like a little bit of a departure for you. You've uh, you've designed many games. I'm a big fan of Memoir 44. Um, I want to be a big fan of uh, Samurai Battles if I can get a demo copy of that. Any anything on that? I can't guarantee a demo copy, but I sure would like to have you one, especially if you're going to promote it on Board Game Geek. I would be very happy to do that. Yeah, no. The one thing <laughs> I'm. You started Oh really? And the SDJ for so that's actually kind of yeah, what years ago started. So yeah, that's my favorite game as much as I love some of the recent stuff. Right. Right. I'm kind of a I'm a young a youngin I guess. So. Play that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Liars Dice. Is the best. I've I've got to try that. Um. So how did you go? You know, in at least in recent years, Liars Dice definitely is you know a more of a, a party type game from what I understand. You know, it's a bluffing game yeah, with dice. Um. But then you went more into the war game world with command and color system. Um. Memoir 44. So how do you go from that to this new zany Cowtown theme? Um, actually, my the credits that I have licensed so far is a broad spectrum of games. So um, it's not really out of the ordinary, but most people know me for the commands and color stuff or for the hobby uh, games that I do. But I've done a lot of uh, games for Pressman Toy, movie games. We did a Godzilla card game. We did a X-Men card game. We did a, all these card games, a lot of different ones, but my name's not on them, so you would never know that. Um, so Cowtown is just kind of an offshoot. Um, it's actually, we did a game for r and &R Games, sorry for the plug of a different company, but r and &R Games basically did a game called Pigpile, and uh, Cowtown is kind of an offshoot of Pigpile. Um, it's, it's, it's a fun little fast family game. It's, it's fun to play. It's, it's, uh, it really doesn't take too long to play. It's right. pretty much. Well, and I think if you it, you play Richard's games without him, and the experience is like sweet, you know, I'm I'm liberating Europe or right. whatever, right? In this case, now I'm gonna go back to the right. samurai sugar. Yep. Um, you meet Richard, and it's like Cowtown is totally lost. He's so much fun. When I first met him, it was just a really enjoyable experience to watch him as he's playing with other players laughing enjoying the camaraderie of the game so to me once you meet him it's like oh yeah cowtown absolutely that's something richard would do you know? right it's so, not really so, it's not really so, far from me tree, it's, really. it is me and it is uh, you know i have a good time playing games um and i have a good time designing games and i'm happy that a lot of people enjoy my game products as a matter of fact at this convention 
you know, at Origins, I've, I had one, I probably had 100 people come up and said, thank you very much for some of the designs I do. And that's just not limited to commands and colors. It's all kinds of stuff that I've done over the years. And, and we get to meet a lot of old friends and, and renew acquaintances here. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Very cool. Uh, so you mentioned uh, pig pile. Was that kind of what led you into the Cowtown theme, or was it kind of something else that inspired no, you? No, it was just kind of playing at the same time. Um, okay. A lot of designs that I do are, you know, at the at about the same time. They, we work together on different things. Some mechanic in one game I use for maybe another one, and and those games kind of developed about the same time. Um, and I think he had steak on his mind. When he was yeah, right. <laughs> I was very hungry one Your day. Bacon wasn't cutting it. No, anymore, that's right? it. <laughs> so you're going to go for cows. Uh, cows. Uh, Cowtown is a fun. It, it really is a fun little game, and and the uh, and the guys. Um, I'm. It's going to be on Kickstarter. Yes. Okay. It is on Kickstarter right oh. now. Oh, it's, it's on Kickstarter. It, it's on Kickstarter right now, and. Uh, you just got to look up Cowtown on Kickstarter, and how's that working out for you? How's the Kickstarter working out for you? We love, I mean, Kickstarter, um, I think, is something that allows us to gauge demand. It's been something that's really successful for us. There are a lot of projects that we, as a company, are really interested in, but, you know, you've got a group of four or five people. Do you want to go out and do market research on every game you do? Kickstarter is an effective marketing vehicle to do that. You can go straight to the consumers. There are changes in the industry as well that kind of drive that. Um, the the pre-orders, the advance orders you used to get from distribution and retail, that dynamic has changed for whatever reason. And so I think Kickstarter is basically filling a void in that regard that allows you to gauge some market demand. So, yeah, I, we're very happy with it. It's an excellent. And you have to be happy with Kickstarter also, right? Definitely. I, yeah. And why are you happy? Why are you happy at Board Game Geek? It, it's a... Uh, we think we need Chad to answer this one, but it, <laughs> it's it's definitely uh, great for ad revenue. It brings people to the side. And That's right. Because there's a lot of people advertising their Kickstarter programs on Board Game Geek. I wouldn't know it. It, it's mutually beneficial. <laughs> and actually, that's kind of cool because all of a sudden, uh, Kickstarter is getting advertised before the game actually even comes out, so they're getting more support on Kickstarter. That's true. Yeah. So, so I don't know if I can call you this, but as a as a high profile designer, have you been involved you in? You can call him then. In a, Absolutely. A famous <laughs> designer. Uh, um, have you been involved with the stretch goals or the the incentives? No, with Countdown? I really have not. Um, Keith has to do that stuff. He's going to come up with all those great ideas. Uh, Is that right? I'm not. I'm That's not, a little dangerous. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how that the goals and stuff work. Um, uh, to be truthful, I've never, I never backed any items on Kickstarter. It's all kind of a new project, a kind of a new land for me that to explore. But uh, um, it's interesting. It's very interesting how the whole thing works. But no, I haven't really been involved in any Kickstarter goals or what are they called? Basically, you'll be signing cards. That's what I would <laughs> Signing cards. Yeah, or maybe Good. Do, You're going to get a big stack of them. That's, That's right. It. And that'll be fine. That'll be fine. <laughs> Not that it, I don't know. Why would you want a you Richard already, Borg sign? You're, you're, you're already signing cards. I that's, forgot. That's right. I, for, <laughs> I forgot. Some, my boss is going to be up my ass about it. What uh, the heck? You're supposed to. Do? I, I'm probably already <laughs> supposed to be signing cards. Okay. He, after this interview, I'm going to get this whole stack of cards that's it. and a pen, and it's going to be. I'm going to be working for you because I'm going to be on the street. When <laughs> when the game when your, when your pen runs out, you stop signing cards. That's, that's right. That's so it. you're not going to actually be playing anything tonight. You're actually going to be signing cards. So no, I'm not. I, actually, tonight we're playing are, another you game. You are signing cards. That, you, you didn't. That was not a oh, question. Oh, I'm was sorry. Yeah. I, I apologize. I um, I missed the statement. <laughs> So, Keith, do you um, have anything you want to tell us about as far as stretch goals or, or plans based on the success of the Kickstarter? I think um, those we are in the hop run right now that we would work with him as far... What we've done with other games is have like an additional mechanic that gets introduced that doesn't um, influence the initial gameplay to where it's like distracting or becomes a necessity. The goal is for that to be something that's a fun addition. So that's something that we 
absolutely work with the designer on. Um, might be some additional artwork, a different kind of cow, maybe a different kind of bull or whatever to do something. Okay, so funny. I actually I do know some of the stretch goals because we worked on some extra cards. I didn't know what they were for. Now I do. There you go. Yeah, there's okay. some extra cards that actually the a little mini pack that you can go ahead and if you if they hit a certain stretch goal, I guess they call it, and you will get I guess a, a not only a signed card of mine. But also a, a, a few by the extra way, cards. Your name, by the way, not mine. Just oh, so okay. I understand All how right. that's being. That's fine. Uh, so, can you t explain to me a little bit about the mechanics of Cowtown and what some of your favorite elements of it are? Actually, it's because it's a family game. There really, it's 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 very simple, simplistic in its play. I mean, you can play it with anybody that really can do a little bit of number reading. You know, matching numbers. Seven goes on top of six and things. So it's 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 a little like Uno, but not really. But it's it has elements of that. But it's elements of family play. So it's it's not it's not a deep strategy game. However, I know people that can play it at a different level because sometimes not playing a card and drawing cards from the deck actually changes how you can go ahead and get more cows. So there is some strategy. But it's at a very subtle level. Are there uh, plans for expansions for Cowtown? I, I I don't know if if we hit like lots and lots of sales. I don't think we need to do an, a basic expansion. But it's kind of up to <laughs> these guys whether or not they think it's worth an expansion. Pretty much the game is a sound playing game as it stands. You can play up to six people pretty well, and it doesn't actually change anything. If you get above that, then I would have to say that it's probably it's it's probably best from four to six players. So, but it plays very well with six and five. Cool. So, I mean, possible ideas you could do like uh, Eastern Front cows or Napoleonic cows, possibly. Nice. I like that. Well. The way things are going on Kickstarter, there's got to be zombie cows, oh, right? That's probably true. That's true. <laughs> Sorry. Love that. Sorry. Being man after my own heart. <laughs> zombie cows. Well, <laughs> we've got white ones. So that does I, the I, cows. I, that's albino cows. <laughs> albino cows. I like it. You know, you collect the albino cows, you win. I'm you all. Know? You know what? We go buffalo. I like the that's great white buffalo. Buffalo. I'm buffalo. On that. I was listening to some. You know, that could be an there. expansion. The buffalo. It wouldn't be called Cow Town. It could be called Buffalo Town. I like it. I like it. No, <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, so we talked a little bit about, about um, you know, your your past game design experience stuff that I didn't know about. Could you tell me a, a little bit more about your history of game design and how you came to this present point? Yeah, I worked at J.C. Penney's for 25 years, and it was kind of bad work at no it was it was a great experience and at the last five six years of working at JC Penney's I started designing games and uh, after about four or five years I was making more money designing games than I was working for Penny so um, and I met JC Penney's not I, I got that. I, I was did, tracking with I that, did, actually. I was I like, did, oh, that's, I see what he did there. I did, <laughs> didn't mean my salary but it, in, a, in a sense it was about that way. Um, and I was in the management program, so I had a I had a fairly nice job. Uh, but I always loved games. I always loved to design games. I always like to play games. We play a lot of games as a family. Um, my wife and I still play games all the time. Um, our daughter and son are grown up, and we even have a couple grandkids. And hopefully, when they get a few years older, they'll like to play games. But you know, I've been, I've always been designing games, even when my, with my, my brothers and sisters when we were young. I was always taking Monopoly and doing variants of that, or taking Parcheesi and doing variants of that, or taking careers and do, so we were always, I always was doing something with games, um, as far as I can remember. So when opportunity fell into place and I was able to, you know, go full time designing games, um, I mean, by the grace of God, I mean, certain things all fell into place and I've been very successful in, in licensing a lot of game products to a bunch of different game companies. Great. Um, would you be able to tell us a little bit about what's next on your horizon as far as game design is concerned? No. <laughs> That's about it. Because, <laughs> because any company, any companies that I work for don't want me to talk about that. And I, I'm not, I wasn't trying to be blunt or, <laughs> but, but, well, it's but just, it was pretty, but, it, but, but yeah, it's just pretty much, I can't, I really can't divulge too much I'm working on. Uh, most of those game companies want to announce what they are, what, 
when they want to announce it. And I'm not at liberty to really, I, a lot of times I, I blab a little bit too much at a convention, you know, they kind of ply me with beer or something like that. And I might <laughs> speak a little bit out of, but I try to, I try to honor what those companies are trying to do. Um, we do, we do have a couple really big projects that if they come through, it'd be rather, they're, actually they're going to be pretty exciting. Um, but uh, not only working, not only working um, with some new companies, but actually working with friends and stuff that in the past. I mean, it's great. These guys are great to work for, and 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 most companies I do work for are really great people to work for. And I really, I mean, I literally enjoy doing games. I mean, what what a profession. I mean, I get to come to a convention, I get to play games, get to talk on board game geek, meet people like yourself. This is great. Great. Um, well, thank you so much for your time. It was really great to learn more about your past and about Cowtown, especially on Kickstarter. on Kickstarter. That's right. Come visit. How many yeah. more days left? As of this? I believe we have, I want to say, 45 days left. It feels like that's the right number. So. Great. So go support it today, right, I guess? Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> thank you. All right.